Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about a small program called 3D Unifies. Before we get into that, I just wanted to let you know that I am in a new office. It's very nice. It has a door, which is great. It has shelves for books, I think. There's some people who actually print stuff on pages and read that instead of on the screen, which is kind of crazy. But this program, 3D Unifies, it's relatively new, and I doubt that most people will ever need it. But in the case you have an anatomical data set, which is very light in one part and very shaded in another, it can be useful because in that case, skull stripping can fail. So 3D unifies, all it will do is make the brightness across the entire anatomical data set relatively uniform. And this will help 3D skull strip separate the skull from the brain. So to show you how to do it, it's a very, very simple command. Simply type in 3D unifies the prefix for your output data set, in this case, anat unshaded, and the name of your anatomical data set. And that's, that's really all there is to it. This thing takes maybe 30 seconds to do, so we're just going to sit here and wait. I haven't been able to figure out yet what this ADV means. When it gets to the very end, it says UW or something. I, you know, I've checked. I, I'm sure there's some reason for it, but haven't been able to figure it out. Just in case you were curious, I'm really just trying to buy time until this thing finishes to the very end instead of being silent. Okay, great. So, 36 seconds. If you open up Afni, bring up a new viewer here. This also illustrates a relatively useful point. Okay, so if we do that, I'm going to make this controller, so the unshaded one, and define overlay for both of them. Okay. So what you should notice here is that the value, this is the intensity, okay, this underlay right here. So if I click all around the, the white matter, you should see it be standardized to about 1,000 arbitrary units. If I click around, it doesn't deviate too much from that. Okay. So that, that's really all there is to it. It's a little bit more variable before you've run 3D Unifies, I think. Maybe not. In any case, it is around 1,000 units. So that's all there is to it. A very small program, just in case you need it. And really, I just made this to kind of catch up and act like I'm being productive.